Hi, hello, how are you? It is me, Cameron Michaels from RuPaul's Drag Race season 10. And now that you've heard me say more words than I ever said on the show, make sure you stay tuned because I'm gonna teach you how to do my signature pointed lip. So my lips have gone through quite a transformation since the show. First they were too small, then they were too big. And trust me, I know because you guys let me know they were too big. So my rule now is that I follow my natural lip shape except for the sides. I bring them out to a point and that's what we're gonna do today. So pay close attention. You're gonna wanna learn this. So there are three steps to my pointed lip, but the first one being the lip liner because I have to reshape my lip. I have a man jaw. And I wanna look like a woman. So I have to reshape my lips because I want the corner of my lips to come out to the center of my pupils. And what that does makes my lips look wider because I need those DSLs and makes my jaw look a little bit smaller. Cause I'm a woman, damn it. So my go-to liner is this Buxom liner that's called Dolly Danger. It's a wonderful like pinky nude. The reason that I love it is because on one side, you have the actual color pencil, and on the other side, you have a brush. And what the brush does is it actually helps you smooth out the edge because I still have stubble even though I just shaved like five minutes ago. I have a full beard. So this brush actually helps smooth out the edge of your lips. So I don't overdraw anymore because my doctor took care of that for me. So up top, I don't really do a point. That's personal preference. Make sure you do a very, very thin line. Yeah, yeah, mm -mm. no. Let's put a lot of product on there because I need the product on so that I can brush it out. Grab the brush and then we're gonna really put in the detail and this is where I feel like it needs to be a little pointed. Cameron, your lips look a little pointed. Why yes, yes they do, thank you. So what I'm trying to do is bring the point to match the pupil of my eye so that my lips look a little bit wider once again so my jaw looks less like a caveman. Mm. So the reason I don't draw it all the way over is because I let the brush do that job for me. The brush is far more detailed. Use the tip of the brush to draw those little bitty points to the corner of my lip. So my second step is to do the liquid lipstick and this is Love Sick from Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. So I'm gonna apply a generous amount of this because I have like four of them, but I want a lot of product on there so I'm just gonna swipe it all over. So after I've applied the liquid lipstick, I take the brush from the crayon that I already used and blend that into my lip liner. Pointed. That is the perfect size, isn't it? Cause size matters. Um, I seem to be missing a product. Um, if I learned anything from Bianca Del Rio, clown makeup has many uses. So I'm gonna go grab that now. Really queen? Thank you, Bianca. Now, this is Clown White. I'm an old school drag queen. I don't know what the kids be using these days, but I still use Clown White for everything. So, in order to make my lips look a little more luscious, I wanna lighten the center of them. So I'm gonna use this Clown White, and she been through a lot, as you can see. I'm filthy. So, the goal with the Clown White is that I wanna put it in the center of my lips to create an ombre effect, because I love an ombre lip. So I'm gonna use the Buxom Pencil brush side to apply to the center top and bottom of my lips. I'm sure there's other products that you could use for this, but we here at World of Wonder like to follow health codes, so we're just gonna use makeup instead for today, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I do not advocating applying makeup with your fingers, but this is the one time I'm gonna use my finger. Ooh. Pretty. So, for my fourth and final step, back to Buxom. So this is the Erica Gloss. I'm gonna apply this to the center of my lips and spread it out. Um, you wanna use a generous amount. You wanna look like you just left the bathhouse. I think that's about three loads worth. <clears throat> now, if you're a professional, your lips would be even. Sometimes I'm not. So I'm gonna fix something real quick. Just, you know, hold on a thing. That's not supposed to be there. You wouldn't be a true drag queen if you didn't up your makeup at least six times during the process. So um, that's why it takes me two hours to get ready because I can't ever do it right the first time. 
Clean off your brushes. That's a free tip. There. Perfect. Do my lips seem pointed right now? Good. Cause now I'm a real woman. Thank you for tuning in. It's been so fun. Can't wait to do it again. <laughs> I can't even pop right.